uh, this is the DSQ. Just the same, the same thing. Uh, we will not be able to get in because of uh, all these stuffs. But uh, these are DSQ, and uh, this is the toilet for the DSQ. We have the window, we have the door on that other side. And now the launch. This is launch. So as I said before, it is the same as uh, as that one. The sizes the same. The setup the same. Uh, the size is the same, the design the same. This is where now we have our our staircase, just the same as the other one. We are going to have the staircase, it's going to start here on the second flight. That's when you got, we are going to put the, the common toilet. And uh, this space will serve as a as a as a ocean ocean basin. Yeah, by now even someone who is at the dining table they can be able to to access and uh this is the the kitchen just the same as the other one spacious uh with two windows for lightning and aeration so you can have your sink here you can have but uh, on this time the on our plan this is where the sink is because of the drainage this is the pantry so all this is going to be worked up from here, it's going to be worked up. Uh, we do some, uh, we do a, a provision for the fridge and maybe for the cooker and I continue with having more worktops up to here. So uh, I believe this is a very good setup. Uh, you can see how we've done our form work just to ensure that uh, even there is no spillage of, uh, of uh, cement. So we ensure, even though you, you've got to have a little bit of it, but uh, it's not much. But uh, so far, so good. You've experienced uh, the plan. Now, this is the this is the window. This is the window, the or rather door that leads you to the to the to the front side, to the back side. So also very big, and. Uh, It's going to light up this place. So big, spacious, good for aeration and also for lighting. So from here, we shall be having a wall here and then now we mirror this design to this other side. So I think now you understand uh, when I was uh, talking about four units. So it is uh, the mirror of this one. We just take it on this other side. So now, these two units can have access from that gate and uh, that gate. So all of them, they are going to be on one compound, but different gates. So four units, one compound. Uh, hi, hi, good people. Uh, it's been a minute, but we're back again. I hope you guys are well. Uh, my name is Chomba, SK Chomba from Atlanta Property Developer Limited. And uh, you've been silently but working tirelessly uh, to achieve a certain project that we've been doing here at Sabaki. Uh, we are doing a five bedroom villa, two units, not one unit, but two units. Those are twin because they are sharing a certain wall. Uh, we started this project uh, late October, but uh, there was a hindrance because of the weather. There's been a lot of uh, rain, so we were not able to go with the same pace that we anticipated to go with. Nonetheless, this is where we are. Just a highlight of what we did. Uh, on this project, uh, we did a suspended slab, mainly because uh, the depth of the maran was almost uh, more than three meters. And also the land was very sloppy. If you can be able to see, and uh, those videos, I think they are running. You can be able to see the progress, how we did. So we did the, the trenches, the, we, we dug the, the pits, uh, we did the, the columns, the ring beam, and then now we, uh, we installed the T-beams and blocks. That is on the uh, foundation. And then of course, wall, we did the, with the panel, the first floor we did with a flat beam 
we didn't use the T-beam. T-beam, they are normally good when you use them on the ground floor, but not on the other floors, because of, also because of the weight. So this is where we are. Uh, after the structure work was done, uh, we ensured that uh, we did the, the steel doors, steel windows, the grills, the parapet wall, and also the provision for water and uh, electricity. That is the MEP, mechanical, electrical, and, and uh, plumbing. So uh, today, I wanted, uh, I wanted to have a tour because we are doing the finishing works right now. So I wanted us to have a tour so that at least, at least we can be able to see uh, how the progress has been and uh, where we've reached so far. So guys, come with me. Uh, so this is, uh, this is our provision for the gate. We are doing a sliding gate because I told you guys these are four units. They are going to be four units, two units on front and the other two units uh, at the back. Each unit, uh, it's a sort of a standalone because uh, they'll be using their separate gates. So this is the gate. We are doing the sliding uh, uh, door here. Uh, we are working on it. Uh, we did the perimeter using the precast wall panels, but we didn't do the hedge beams because of the depths of the columns. What we did, we used the the RC concrete. And I think uh, uh, on that uh, the, previously on this video, uh, you will be able to see how we incorporated the the steel column or rather the RC column with the with the perimeter wall. Uh, you can be able to see how tailored the perimeter wall is. Well molding uh, wall caps uh, to just av to avoid water from spilling to the wall because we might rather we might do the finishing of the precast panels it depends on the clad maybe wall master or something maybe painting or something but would prefer wall master so this is what we have done uh these are re the remaining panels that we have used let me walk you through uh to the first unit so if you come here uh, we have a separate dsq these are separate dsq for this unit very spacious and end suit also we are just working on it because we have done all the the plumbing works electrical work we have done and that we have even uh, tested so what we are doing right now we've done the skimming and that we have applied the first coat on it so meaning that uh what what is remaining to be done here it's very very minimal because we need just to uh do a provision here for the wardrobes and uh, the rest of the works that will be done, especially on the toilets. Toilets we've not done. What we've done, just if you can be able to show them, we have uh, done the provisions for the for the electrical uh, for the plumbing works, and uh, we did the pressure test. Pressure test is whereby because we've put tanks on top of the uh, uh, on top of the floor, and I'll be able also to show you that. So once we did we did that, we we put water. And that we allowed the water to drain or rather to flow to all these provisions with a very high speed. That is why it is called pressure test. The reason as to why we do that, we've locked every outlet. We've done, we've locked every outlet. And then now we pressure, we, we do the, pre, we, we insert pressure on the water that is flowing. So now you can be able to see if there is any leakage on the, on the joints before even we did the plastering and uh, also finishing of the of the of the bathrooms so that is called pressure test it is very very important to do it before you even do some plaster because you might be able to see any leakage and uh, you can be able to maybe rectify from there now we get into the launch uh, this being a porch now you get to the launch very spacious you can see how spacious you, uh, it is. Uh, this is a window, or rather a door that leads to this other porch. This is where the dining area will be. This is the launch, where the launch will be. It is not an open concept as we've been doing uh, with the rest of the projects that uh, we've been working on. But we ensure that there is maximum light and aeration. Because now we have this, doors here or rather this window here 
we have other windows there, meaning that even the circulation of air, it's very constant, and also hydration. Both uh, morning and also evening. From there, uh, these are uh, some of the changes that we did. Uh, initially, we didn't have this toilet here. This is the bathroom, common bathroom, uh, just for the visitors who uh, may be here. We had, we had it on this other room. There was a provision here. There's a door, there, there was a door here that led to that toilet. But now, we saw this very spacious uh, room, which is beneath the stairs. So the best we could have done is to use this one and uh, no, uh, convert it to be a bathroom. So then now uh, we can be able to use it instead of just having a hollow here. And uh, this way now we are going to have our, our console here, uh, our, our wash, wash and basin console. From there, let me take you to the kitchen area. This is the kitchen area. All these worktops, we used panels to do all these worktops. And then we had to do a screening just to make sure that it is level and ready for the installation of the granite, either granite, quartz, or marble, whichever that we are going to do. We also did a provision here for the banner. This is a six-piece banner that can be done here. We had a, we have a provision for the for the fridge here. That is the orientation of it. And uh, this is a double bowl, double dryer sink. This now where. Uh, most of the works uh, wet areas. This commonly is a wet area where the washing of, of the dishes can be done or maybe drying of the dishes. There's another provision that uh, we've left here. These are dishwasher. Yeah, because most of the, you know, uh, because of the intense technology, those are the things that uh, you may be able to uh, make, make a provision for future. So we've done a provision here for the uh, for the washing machine or the dishwashers. So, from there, you have seen how spacious the kitchen is, and we also have a pantry here that is not yet finished, but uh, we, we are in the process of doing the finishing. From there now, you have an ex uh, ex exit door here. Uh, from the kitchen now, you have an exit door here. So, this is the ground floor for the first unit. Let me take you uh, to the upper floor. We did our grills and uh, our molding. This molding is very, very important because it helps to, you know, to divert water in case you are, you are washing the, the tiles uh, from above. We have done this molding from both sides so that now water will not, will not spill to the, to the wall. Rather, it will be directed uh, from that molding. And uh, we did our steel, uh, steel rails, very, very strong. And uh, we are going to have a final coat so that uh, it can be as beautiful. This is the window, uh, the stairs case window. You can maybe be able to see it uh, when uh, we are outside. So let's go to the rooftop and uh, see uh, what we have there. So this is the stairs. We also did the molding, and uh, we have this provision for the lights. These are the sensor lights that are able to sense the steps that you are about to step. Rather than having a uh, light here or maybe switches, and sometimes you can be able, you can even forget to to switch it on and off. We've done even the molding here. So this one they are going to help us uh, when we are doing the the tiles. So when you are washing, you can even pour water there and. Uh, uh, it will just drain all the way to the ground floor. Now, this is now the rooftop. They call it the terrace. Other call, call it a uh, second floor. So this is how it is. Guys, look very, very spacious in terms of space here. Children can be able to to even play here, right here, even skate. Very, very spacious. Let's start with uh, what we did on the parapet wall. So on the parapet wall, we used the panels. 
and uh, most of the time uh, because of the columns the provision of the columns from the ground floor coming all the way we did not terminate them so some of them some of the columns really assisted us in uh, reinforcing the parapet wall like these columns most of them uh, at the corners and uh, so we did one meter uh, parapet wall because uh, we're also thinking about the safety of the of our children even human being you know you never know someone might be able or rather you never know what happens to someone maybe when they are there are so many things that happens and uh, someone can lose even balance you can even be unconscious just go all over the sudden so it is very very important to ensure that there is safety so we did one meter and uh, we did a grill meaning even a child it is impossible for a child to even climb up to this this area not unless there is a negligence because most of the time you need to get a watch of your children even a human uh, a grown-up person because actually it is more above there than even the shoulder so we did the parapet wall all around uh, we've not yet done the finishing of the terrace because uh, we are also considering some different options uh, to ensure that there is no leakage even now there is no leakage because uh, we when we were doing the concrete we used the waterproofing agents very strong waterproofing agent when we were doing the the concrete the mass concrete we also used it when we were doing the screening because we were able to do the screening so that now we can be able to get the the gradient of uh directing water here to the down pipes so we also used used the waterproofing agent uh, from there uh let me take you now to this bedroom this this also is a bedroom it, it was supposed to be a laundry area but uh, we converted it it can also be used as a laundry area and it can also be used as a bedroom that's why it's why well, we are saying it is a five bedroom uh villa also very spacious we done provision here for the wardrobes that we are going to to do the installation uh this is not yet ready for the undercoat still some few finishings in terms of the scheming that uh, we are able to do we've also done the steel door uh because uh, it's going to be on a very open open area from there uh we have a toilet here that can be accessible maybe when you have visitors here or maybe you're sitting here instead of going back to the or rather going down to the ground floor where we have a common toilet